Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Housewife Historian. We are talking Real Housewives of New Jersey's. They just always keep us talking. That's why we love them. Even when they're filming, we're talking about them. During the season, we're talking about them. So much to um, unwrap here, guys. So if you are a New Jersey fan, then this video is definitely for you. Um, if not, keep swiping. I am trying to grow my channel, guys. I give you guys all the facts. I give you guys the tea at the beginning. You don't have to sit through a bunch of um, commentary, opinion panels. I give it to you all at the beginning all the facts, all the tea, leave my opinion for the end or a live video, okay? Um, we're talking New Jersey and I got some tea for you guys, so please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, you don't want to miss anything these women have going on right now. Okay, so first of all, I want to let you guys know I earned my paycheck when it comes to Raw Housewives in New Jersey because I told y'all Two weeks ago, that Dina was no longer going to be the matron of honor in Teresa's wedding. And page six confirmed it. I posted on my community page in case you guys are interested and you want to go read the article. Page six did a whole spread. Dina will not be Teresa's maid of honor. She may not even be at the wedding at all, like I told you guys, okay? So everyone that came for me in the comments, it's okay to be wrong. Um, you know, sometimes we get bad information, but this time... I had the right information and I told you guys ahead of time and dropped it to you right away. So you knew before page six knew that they confirmed that Dina will not be in Teresa's wedding. Now, Kim D went on behind the velvet rope and she gave us some tea about the wedding. This is important, guys. This is what you've been waiting to hear. Kim D confirmed Teresa did get a three part wedding special series. OK, um, Three part. This is what I said was going to happen as well, guys. I said she's going to get a special. It's too much to try to put into the season and, and put it into it would be, end up the whole season. If you you couldn't probably put the wedding into one episode, you would have to put it into two. Then your whole season's kind of revolving around the wedding anyways, because it's going to be this huge two part series. So if they do a special um, one, I think the ratings will be better. Um, I think people want to see this wedding. They're interested in their in this couple. They're interested in seeing, you know, all the flags that Louis is throwing um and I think they'll watch it I definitely think they'll watch it and there's going to be some players in it she's going to include some of the women from the show I'm sure as bridesmaids to help with a narrative um you know when it comes to the wedding and things that are transpiring and these are you know women that we've already met that we already know that we have a rapport with so it's not like she's bringing in new friends that we've never met we know nothing about and we have to get to know them in a three-part series no it's going to be people we already know um so she confirmed it was a three-part series uh, she also said some uh, something else very interesting. She said, you know that Teresa is getting paid over a million dollars for this special. I agree with her. I think the price tag is probably even higher than that, okay? Because number one, she's going to have to give some to Louie, okay? Teresa's been by herself a long time now. So all her paychecks that she was getting, all her, you know, when she was making good money, like doing interviews or spreads or whatever the case may be, she was making her money by herself and she didn't have to, you know, talk to anyone about it. Right. Um, when she was with Joe and they would do all these special series and stuff, Joe took the money, Joe handled the money. And I'm sure whenever he came home from prison, he was broke ATF. And so whenever they did that three part special, when he came, when Joe Judice came home from prison and they went over to Italy to um, see him. Uh, I think that Teresa definitely had to split that with him. I mean, he again, he was probably home from prison. He was probably broke. Um, so they were lo definitely looking over a million dollars for that alone. And it, that is what is so brilliant about Teresa sometimes is, guys, that's why she's been saying every time she's asked about it, she's like, I don't know if we're going to film. I don't know if we want to film. Like, then we can't, you know, then I can't invite who I want to invite because allegedly she wanted to invite Nene Lee and they told her no. Um, she, there's certain music she can't play for copyright reasons. And so it just, you know, it's, it's, I guess it would be like working on your wedding day. But if you love your job, then I guess it wouldn't be so bad. Um, now, what we also have to think about is, yes, okay, if Tre or if Louie and Teresa get paid, hypothetically, $2 million, anyone else that's going to be in the series, they're going to get a paid check, too. So what does that mean? Gia, uh, Melania, uh, Adriana, I mean, everyone. Anyone else that's all the bridesmaids. So, like, as a family... Yes, Teresa and Louie might get paid the $2 million, but all the kids are going to get cut really big paychecks too, especially Teresa's daughters because 
of who they are. They're Teresa's daughters. So there's more of a demand for them than, you know, again, people we've never met, whatever. Now, also, it's alleged that Dolores and Jennifer are going to be bridesmaids, but we're hearing that Melissa is not going to be a bridesmaid. So I, I, I heard Melissa was going to be a bridesmaid. Um, I heard that it's possible she would even take Dina's place as the matron of honor. Um, but, you know, that's, qu- of course, up in the air. But from what I was hearing, Melissa is going to be in the wedding, even though some people are saying they don't think she is. And then also Kimsey made another point because she said, you know what, also, and I said this to you guys, after they confirmed that Bravo was going to film it, Teresa went back to all those vendors and said, "Uh uh-uh, go ahead and change that price because you guys are all going to get a free commercial basically for being on the show, a three-part series, and I'm not going to pay you guys and give you free publicity on a national level, so... You can go ahead and slash the price tag on this, 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 and this. Um, that is a very typical thing for the housewives to do. So they'll make money, which will help pay for the wedding, but they'll also not have to pay as much for the wedding because they'll be getting a free um, commercial. There was also um, some stuff on Joe Gorga, but I'm going to do a separate video on that Um There is also the possibility, I mean, somebody else brought up a really great point. You know, sometimes Bravo will want them to film for free. Like, if they, okay, good example, Denise Richards, if she would have went to Garcelle's party, you know, they would have just expected her to to probably film for free. Teddy Mellencamp, um, of course, she's not going to film for free, no way, no how, but she kind of brought that up and made a good point. Like, sometimes Bravo just wanted you to film for free, and it's bullshit, right? Um... And there's that. But I don't think that's the case. Um, Kim D also said, like, they could just blur her out. They could just blur her face, blur her body if it's about being on TV. But it's really not about being on TV. It's more about the fact, you know, the last time um, that she filmed, she did Adriana's. It was some kind of religious um, baptism confirmation sort of Catholic event. And she was home, and when her and David returned back to their townhouse, they were attacked. It was a home invasion. Um, there was two men in their house who zip-tied them, beat them, and blindfolded them and robbed them. And it was later, you know, alleged that it was orchestrated by her ex-husband, Tommy Manzo. And they had moved to California because of the fact they really didn't feel safe in the New Jersey area because Tommy Manzo allegedly has a lot of contacts with mafia mobsters um, and is connected to one of the five biggest um, families, mob families, to come out of New York and New Jersey. So the issue really is, is that... She doesn't want people to know where she's going to be and what she's going to be doing because I feel like she feels like that's vulnerable. She's vulnerable if she does that. She's vulnerable if everyone knows that they're, you know, New Jersey's a small area. Like, it's easy to find out information on people, like where they're filming, when they're, like, that stuff is like wildfire, right? Like, and all those people are wed together and they all know each other and know cousins, blah, blah, blah. So the fact is, is that she feels vulnerable because she doesn't want Tommy Manzo knowing where she's going to be at all the, you know, when she's home in New Jersey because she feels threatened by him. The guy's not even in prison. He hasn't even, he was indicted and he posted bond in like 2020. He hasn't even been to trial yet. So... Who's to say he couldn't do it again? He allegedly had David beat up in 2009, I think. Um, And they, you know, they included that in criminal charges along with the indictment from the home invasion. But he's not in jail. He's free. So I guess that would probably be a little bit scary for her and her husband. I think that she still deals with trauma from the home invasion. Um, I've spoke about this before. She's very holistic. Dina is very, very holistic. And she actually posts some of her PTSD um, exercises with her therapist, who is also holistic. And he posts all the time great information. I follow him on Instagram. Um, Also... (laughs) There's some stuff about Louis' sister. We're not sure. I'm working on it. I want to get it to you guys. Um, But there's just been a really big falling out amongst all of them. And I'm 
just dying to get to the bottom. You guys can tell I'm just dying to get to the bottom. Um, and then the last thing I had on New Jersey, of course, uh, was I did see a couple of photos of the new girl, Danielle, who I spoke about before. She's the one who wanted to do a reality show when she was like 18 and she moved from uh, New Jersey to LA. And I don't know, she was part of a documentary, um, but they filmed like her first, you know, couple of months out there. Um, and now she's like married and has kids and she's coming on the show as team Teresa. And she also has a clothing line called bougie kids. Um, so she was promoting that with Jennifer at Melissa's store envy. So that's a little confusing if Danielle is supposed to be team Teresa and she's having her, a promotional event for her clothing line at envy. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's, that's a little strange to me. Um, again, why Melissa has to be in the wedding. Melissa would not be messing with anyone that was Teresa's friend or team Teresa if Melissa was not in that damn wedding. And I'm telling you guys that. And if she wasn't in that wedding, we would be hearing it. We would be hearing it on podcasts. We would be hearing it all over the place, somewhere, innuendos. We would be hearing it from Joe in the background. Who knows? Somehow we would know that Melissa was not in the wedding. They would definitely want us to know that because we knew the whole time before, right? We were hearing it over and over and over that Melissa was not in the wedding. And then all of a sudden, we didn't hear it anymore. So I'm just saying Melissa's in the wedding. All right, guys, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on and, because I'm going to be dropping another video about Joe um, Judice and some uh, pretty, you know, just a little tea on Joe. He always got something going on. So, all right, guys, have a great day.